some demon is going to enter you and can too. I don't believe in demons. We have priests, actual priests that will like, you know, make fun of exorcists, like the priests who have chosen to become exorcists because they say, oh, that's archaic. That's medieval. There is no such thing. That's just, you know, that that's just like, you know, it was some kind of like a, like, you know, just kind of like a self evil. They're talking about our self evil, you know, our sins. They're not actually talking about physical entities, which is completely unbiblical to be perfectly honest, because you can't take a self sin and put it into a pig and throw it off a cliff like Jesus did when he, when he, exercised a demon out of a person but um that aside you know the there's a lot of times where people like priests won't help people i've encountered where i couldn't get a priest to help somebody because they didn't actually believe in the demonic in the form that you know we that it's an actual physical entity and in the bible it says that those who are baptized and believe Will these signs will be attested to them? They will cast out demons. He wasn't just saying his apostles. He wasn't just saying his disciples that followed him. He wasn't just saying priests. He said that anybody who believes. But that be- we have a lot of priests that college to learn to. You know, it's not as simple as hey, I've got a sage stick and I saw this on TV. You know, which a lot of people these days are like that. And on that note, we're having some technical difficulties with Skype right now. It seems to be cutting Uh-oh. in and out for a lot of people, but that's okay. I do have a couple questions because this will go straight through to the archives. Let's get to a question okay. from, from Joe here. Joe is asking, why do most ghosts seem intent on scaring people and throwing things around and basically just being a bunch of a-holes? Are there any stories <laughs> of helpful ghosts? Oh, yeah. Well, look at the story I told earlier where I had been searching for those batteries. Like, okay, you know, I am living in the age of technology. I'm not a caveman. And I was so mad I couldn't find the the remote uh, batteries because I didn't want to have to go up and manually turn the TV every time I wanted a station. I wanted to sit my butt down on the bed and just relax. And I was talking on the phone to my friend. I said, you know, I just bought these batteries. These, uh, these are so... These were brand new, and I have no idea where I put them. I've turned my room upside down. I I just give up. And 20 minutes into the conversation, like I said, a box from way in the back of the closet. I mean, this was pushed. This wasn't teetering where it just could have tipped. It was pushed way in the back. It comes shooting out of the closet. Like I said, my bed is eight feet away from the closet, and it could have probably flown further if it wasn't for the bed stopping its momentum. And then once it hits the bed and it tips over, there's all the batteries. It was almost like whatever spirit was in the house was saying, oh, look, I found the batteries for you. Here you go. You know, it never actually tried to do anything to scare me. It never tried to do anything malicious. It, you know, and I think it was trying to show me, don't be scared of me here. Look, I just helped you find something you've been looking for forever. You know, you you know, you can trust me. You can like, you know, don't be scared of me, you know, kind of a thing. So yeah, there are ghosts that do try to be helpful. There are spirits that have been known to like somebody is about to do something really stupid. And all of a sudden they almost have this like psychic thought of, no, I'm I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay. I'm going to, I'm going to not do it. And then all of a sudden something really bad happens and had they been at that place or had they been in that car they would have been involved in that really bad thing and there were a lot of times where they say there was a spirit there was a ghost in the house that was literally psychically telling me not to do something because i was going to get hurt and i listened to that i felt like it was a guy a doctor midnight east time as we continue on on the mighty s o r I apologize for my internet connection. I'm not sure if the Revolution Radio people are having issues with it, but I know on the other side of the Spreaker side and the Space Out Radio side, apparently the show just cut out. So Uh we're going to wrap this thing up early. I apologize, but i got to figure out what the Sam hell is going on with my internet connection. This is happening a little bit too much recently. Maybe it is the ghostly demons of my internet (laughs) <laughs> Andrea, I may need you to exercise my internet demons. The power of Christ compels you. Exactly. <laughs> Spread your wings and fly out of here. But you know what? It has been a pleasure. Why don't you tell us, every, everybody, where we can find your book, where we can get a hold of you. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, paranormalronin.blogspot.com. 
Ronin is R O N I N. So paranormal R O N I N dot blogspot dot com. You can find me on facebook.com backslash paranormal Ronin. And my book is basically everywhere. Support your local bookstores. Go there and just ask if they can order it if it's not on the shelves. If you don't live near a local bookstore, it's on amazon.com and Barnes and Noble's website as well. Well, it's always good to chat with you. And you know what? We'll do it in another year or less. Definitely. <laughs> another year or less because yeah. that's kind of what we're going to do around here. I like having you on. You're fun. I, I still am. I still think though that you need to get in touch with Eric Cooper from Forest Moon Paranormal because you two could help each other out a lot. And I oh, mean probably. a lot. Yeah. I'll have to send you that link. But thank you so much for being on Spaced Out Radio thank tonight. You. Everyone taking part in the Space Out Radio chat room on Spreaker, on the SOR Space Travelers, on Facebook, and you in Revolution Radio Land. Appreciate your time. Remember, if you're listening on the Double R Machine, donate today. It's a station financed by you. We'll see you all in 21 hours. I'm out of here. My internet sucks. Have a good one. Good night. One second here.